everybody. Welcome back. It's Mary here from the Smart Cookie Club here to show you some more tips and tricks on creating toys at home using household items. Um, so today I have these great um, orange crates. So it's a clementine box that you'll see in the grocery store full of those tiny little oranges. You usually see them closer to Christmas time around the holidays. It's a simple little box. It already has some holes in the bottom of the box. I actually used my drill to make the holes just a little bit bigger so we can use larger sized pom-poms. You can see I've left some of the original holes. This small one at the top is one of the original holes. So as you can see, it's quite small. Um, if you have a child that is a toddler or younger, you'll definitely want to make the holes bigger so you can use the large size pom-poms or larger items. Um, on the top, of, on the bottom of the crate, so the crate sits like this and the oranges go inside. So I've, I've taken off the, the covering and on the bottom I've just painted some little flowers really simply. Um, you can even have your children help you with this part of the activity. So give them some paint or some markers and get them to really decorate the bottom of the box around the, around the little holes. So what we've done is color coded those holes so that we can match some little pom poms to them. So what, the, what you'll do to set up the activity is just match the colors and place them in the top of the hole. And the idea is that the child will come over and bloop, pop them in. As the pom poms pop through, they fall down underneath and if it's sitting on a table because of these great little legs already on the box, you can see the pom-pom underneath as it falls down. Bloop! And I like to make that little noise as I'm pushing it through and it makes it really exciting for the children. Bloop! And so there's lots of different um, ways that you can sort of decorate your box. Um, and there's lots of different pom-poms out there as well. So as you can see, there's the really big ones and there's some smaller ones and there's even really mini, mini, mini tiny ones. I really suggest the larger size pom-poms, especially working with younger children. Um, if you are using these at home, it's important to watch your child. You don't want them to eat one of these pom-poms. The large ones are not choking hazards. They won't be able to, to swallow this large size pom-poms, but the smaller ones certainly are a choking hazard. So you want to supervise very closely and watch out for that. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys learned some, some valuable tips and tricks on making your own toys and educational resources. I'll see you next week for another fun project. Bye for now.